I'm impressed. You deserve a reward. A reward? Sure. Hello world and welcome back to another episode of The Bonita Show. I am here straight from New York City with Thomas Card and his wife and also writer-producer Stephanie Gold and they are the owners of Pounding Pavement Productions. And we are here because we have the St. Louis International Film Festival going on and they have a film called Finding Virginia in this film festival. Guys, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All the way from New York City to St. Louis to talk about Finding Virginia. Now tell us, now I know it's based on true events from um, back in the 19, what, was, what year was it? Oh, it was, it was 20, 20 years 22 ago. years ago. 22 years ago, yeah. someone was abducted. Um, so it's based on true events, but this is the story of a community and uh, how they came together and what they went through during the during this abduction. So tell us about Finding Virginia and what led you to writing and um, doing the film about Finding Virginia. Um, what brought me to this story was um, just the, the quiet heroism of the, um, the woman who was abducted. And it was uh, important to me to really bring that to light and uh, show what it felt like to be in the community. And uh, I was hoping that people would really feel the frustration um, and the sympathy with the, with the lead character because as, as an audience we feel the frustration of these moments where we feel that she had opportunities to escape and then you sympathize with the fact that she um, quietly and heroically saved so many people around her showing her true character through the choices that she made. Okay. Now, Miss Stephanie, Ms. Stephanie wants to sit over in the corner today. <laughs> she wants to join her husband she on the Benita show. <laughs> so I, I said, well, she was the writer producer. You know, she was an assistant writer producer for the film. Come on over here and talk about finding her. <laughs> and a lot of Jim. We had to convince her to come over here. So tell us, tell us about your thoughts on finding Virginia and. It was a great experience for us, and I was. Um, it was really important to Thomas and to me as writers when we go to tell this fiction, this story about this woman, that um, we turn the tables on this concept of her being a victim right. and turn her into a hero. And I think that was really, you know, I mean, of course, nobody knows what happened in the true story, and that's not what we're here to tell, but in this story, it was really important to us. You know that we change the perspective and change the perception, and I'm really hoping that we accomplish that with this. And I think she does some very surprising and, and subtle things in the film that make her you know, fulfill that role. So. Wow! Yeah. Tell us about your lead guy, who, by the way, resembles Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I think he's a little cutie. Uh, I know you guys think you're going to tell him that, right? <laughs> yes, we'll definitely, definitely tell him right away. He does. He does look like. Uh, tell us about about him. And this being his first time this, out. Yes, this is his first job. feature, and it's our first feature as well. Uh, he, he was an absolute joy to work with. Every single taste. Jeff Kurt. Yes, okay. and he just did a phenomenal job of um, understanding the character and being the character throughout the entire film. Often during the takes, every single take would be fantastic. It was just a different view of who this character was. So he really just brought um, an incredible energy um, to the film. And I, we thought in casting him, we were, you know, at first we were worried about the fact that he's, you know, he's an attractive, cute guy, and mm -hmm. then we realized it was the perfect element to really bring to life the airiness of this character and his ability to bring the um, the sadistical sense of humor into the character was incredible, mm -hmm. absolutely incredible. So the, the, <coughs> your initial worry was that he was too uh, too much like a boy next door, right? And yeah. he wouldn't pull off being the sadistical person that you wanted. Yeah. But he transitioned really well. He Absolutely. really rose to that occasion. I mean, he was so professional because he, he, you know, he's young and this was his first time doing this and I have to say, I mean, he really possessed that character inside and out and 
I mean, I'm still amazed by the performance and the, and the relationship that Thomas, as the director, had to Jeff was fantastic. He, they really trusted each other, and I think you can see that in the film because he really goes for broke I mean, in every scene. And it's exciting. Yeah, okay, this is good stuff. And I know so from, from the few clips that I saw and from his pictures, he has that, he has that Matrix look going on. So <laughs> yes. I can't wait to see him. He loves you already. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. So I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Now, where can we find your information online? And uh, tell us about when, you're gonna, when it's going to be showing so that our um, viewers will know. Well, we have a website for the film. Um, that's findingvirginia.com. Okay. And also there's a website for um, Pounded Pavement, that's poundedpavement.com. <laughs> I love the name, Pounding Pavement. <laughs> some makers, that is what we do. We pound the pavement. Yeah. That it makes stuff happen. So true. And we wear a bunch of different hats. You know, people say, but you got a lot of titles. Well, well that's what you do. I know. <laughs> Everyone knows that, right? In your yeah. first film, you're just, you know, you yeah. do everything. There's yeah. not a thing you don't do. You well, just, we carry blank business cards and just write our title. Right, right. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's right? Yeah. I got to get a new business card. I got another title. I got to get a new business card. So, yeah, I do. Just write it down. Write it down. Tip, tip. Write, write, write on your business cards, people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. But, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. we got poundingpavement.com. Yes. Yes. And okay. we're playing tonight, Friday, um, at the Tivoli at 7.15. Okay. Yes. So, and it's very exciting. Okay. Yes. To be back in St. Louis is really yeah. exciting for the two of us as well. So. so you guys went to school at YU, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then moved out to New York. That's yes. right. <laughs> to do this, to do, make films. Did well, you move out there for that purpose? Well, I from here. have to say, honestly, I moved out there to follow her. Oh, <laughs> Tracy Bennett! So now you need to do it from my I don't know if it's that obvious. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta mask it a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh that's nice. But He's being my nice. Stephanie He's... went for playwriting. Yeah, okay. that's what my plan was. And then Thomas um, opened a photography studio. So okay. Yeah, and I've done still photography in okay. New York for, um, I guess, the last 18 years now. Okay. Wow. And, yeah. and, and uh, I heard your wife mention you guys have three daughters. Yes. And you, you look like kids. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> you for saying that. Years. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the active business must keep us looking good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, is there any um, final word or last thoughts you would want people to get from Finding Virginia? Or any final words you have for filmmakers out there? There's a final point. Mm. Well, I would say to filmmakers, it's um, to definitely follow your passion for it. If you are passionate about it and it's something you want to do, I mean, we made this film for $15,000 in nine days of, you know, with the most dedicated crew and cast anyone could ever ask for. And it seemed almost impossible. At, at almost every moment, it seemed almost impossible. But we really, wow. it was something we wanted to do, and it was something we believed in, and we wanted to tell the story and with this crew and this cast and in this location. And we, we really just persevered. And people are really, um, were incredibly supportive. And uh, there is a community out there. And um, I mean, I hope that you see all of that work in the finished product of the yeah. film. It's so exciting to come here to show it as well in St. Louis being from the area. But that, that following your dream and hard work really paid off on this film. Good, Good for you guys. Yeah. Um, what's next for Finding Virginia after this film festival? What's next? Well, our goals with Finding Virginia are to really take the success of this film and use it to help do our future projects. We have two more screenplays we're currently um, working on. Um, and we're going to start hopefully fundraising for our next film very soon, yeah. which um, it's very exciting. Yeah. Let me know how I can do to, to help with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we will be calling. <laughs> we're not called Pounded Pavement. We're not <laughs> 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 well, I, I don't have anything else unless you guys have any final words. I think you told us what you want us to find in Find Virginia. We know where you're going, so. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah, uh, we're just super excited for tonight. I'm excited for, excited for pounding pavement. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're going to say bye to the Benita Show viewers. Uh, bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs>